Next up, it's nuclear engineering. Now, when anyone mentions the word nuclear, it's as if it already has a name for itself, and not a good one. Uranium, plutonium, weapons of mass destruction, you've probably heard of these. But in actual fact, nuclear engineering is much bigger than this. If engineers and scientists play their cards right, we could be producing energy in a far more sustainable way. OK, let's start big. Nuclear weapons. I know what you're thinking. Why would anyone want to be involved in this? And we understand. But let's put aside the politics for the sake of science and engineering and just say countries mainly use them as a deterrent. Yes, a deterrent. A little naive, but let's go with it for now. Besides, most countries have signed a non-proliferation treaty. Basically, they're not allowed to test their weapons. But what about deep underground? Surely they could test it there. Well, no. They have monitors everywhere. You'll be detected by other countries in minutes, if not seconds. So, if we can't test the weapon in the desert like they used to, or deep underground, how do you know if what you have even works? Well, you have to test individual parts of the weapon or even simulate what it would be like. Like using lasers that can heat objects to temperatures hotter than the center of the sun. Why? Well, when the weapon goes off, you can expect temperatures to exceed tens of millions degrees. Now that's far hotter than the center of the sun. And this type of research is also being used to better technology, helping mankind move into the future. But how exactly? How would this help anyone? Well, through something called fusion, but we'll get into that a little later. For now, let's talk about fission and how it produces energy for nuclear power. So how does it work? Well, by splitting uranium atoms, you can produce a tremendous amount of heat. Now, when this is contained correctly, you can circulate water around it, which of course turns to steam with enough heat. Now with this steam, you channel it through a turbine and voila, you guessed it, electricity. Now, this sounds simple, but the complexity begins when making this process safe. We've had two pretty bad accidents in the past, Fukushima and Chernobyl. These both caused thousands of casualties and affected millions of people. There are some good videos on YouTube that explain what went wrong on those days, what nuclear engineers have learnt from it, and ultimately how we can ensure nothing on this scale happens again. Nuclear energy is favoured today because it doesn't release any greenhouse gases, but instead produces radioactive waste. Now this is deadly stuff, and needs to be stored deep underground for some years before it's considered safe. So, this takes us back to our earlier question. How can we take mankind into the future? Instead of splitting atoms, what if we fuse them together? Well, our sun does exactly this. Remember when we briefly mentioned fusion? Well, this is it, a new type of nuclear power. With very little waste and almost free energy for everyone, the possibilities for this is unreal. What we learn from simulating nuclear explosions can bring us closer to understanding fusion and put this power on the grid, making these possibilities real. Aside from trying to bring free energy to everyone, nuclear engineers can also be found in the medical industry. I know what you're thinking. Weapons of mass destruction, Fukushima and Chernobyl. How could they possibly operate in the medical industry? Well, they continue to look into how small controlled amounts of radioactive material can help patients like making cancer show it better on scans, or even treating it altogether. So yeah, if you were to stare at a block of uranium-235, you're definitely going to run into a few problems. But this whole stereotype of nuclear engineering being bad just isn't the case. When engineers safely channel it correctly, it can do a lot of good. In fact, very soon we'll be pretty reliant on it. And this is really what engineers do. They take these incredible principles and make them work safely, you know, we can't let anything go wrong. You remember when Otto Octavius messed up his calculations? Yeah, you really don't want to end up like him. We hope you would have subscribed by now. But seriously, if you didn't like the video or wanted to do something else, drop us a message, leave a comment, you know how it works.